what is UML? So we are going to define UML. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. It is an industry standard graphical language for specifying, visualizing, constructing and documenting the artifacts of software system. The UML uses mostly the graphical notations to express the object-oriented analysis and object-oriented design of software projects and simplifies the complex process of software design. So UML is having the full form that is a unified modeling language with the help of which we are going to have some graphical representations, some pictorial representations of a software system. So before getting a software implemented, before getting the software tested, we should gather all the requirements from the client. And all these requirements, if you can put them in some proper graphical and pictorial representation, then that will be quite easy for the people who are working within the project or uh, stakeholders of the, of the project to communicate in between each other. So that's why it is a very popular tool for the graphical representation of a software system. And it is basically used for specifying, visualizing, constructing and documenting the artifacts of the software system. But for non-technical system also, where there is no software related, there also we can apply this UML to some limited extent. And this using this UML, we can implement and we can show the object oriented analysis and object oriented design. So in our tutorial, we shall discuss lots of these issues into further more details. So here, this is a diagram, we are showing that specifying in a certain note, we can go for the specification, visualizing using some graphical notations, constructing, documenting, and then business modeling and communication will be, will have a great help from this UML as a standard language. So why UML for modeling? If this question has been asked, then we can say that use graphical notation to communicate more clearly than the natural language which is imprecise and code which is too detailed. So that's why inst instead of going for the coding directly, we should at first we should go for some modeling, we should have some modeling language where these graphical representations which will be more comprehensible and easy to infer and interpret. Acquire, uh, help acquire an overall view of the system. In our UML diagram, we are having multiple different type of diagrams are there and each and every diagram has got its specific purpose and role. A certain diagram may be having different versions for the same project for different parts for their more explanation. So that's why it will help us to, to have the overview of the whole system. UML is not dependent on any one language or technology. So it, you cannot say that UML is for Java only or UML is for .NET. You can apply this UML which is technology independent and language independent. But obviously, we will be applying this UML for the object oriented languages. UML moves us from fragmentation to the standardization. So that is another role of UML. It simplifies the software design process. When the UML diagrams will get constructed in the object oriented analysis phase and then in the object oriented design phase, then when this particular diagrams in the detailed form with the proper documentation, description, implementation will be coming to the respective developer to have the final implementation in code, then obviously there will be no communication gap because the developer who really understand the language of EML will just spend some say hundreds of hours to get it implemented in the proper coding and the, make, making the software ready for the client. So that's why UML is required in our software development projects and for other non-technical projects also UML diagram is having its own usage. Thanks for watching this video.